What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to showcase how you can set some custom title presets using Apple Motion. Now what this means is if you've downloaded and installed in Final Cut Pro a whole bunch of custom title effects, then you probably make some edits to them each and every video that you like to reuse every time. And it can become quite a hassle if you have to make plenty of edits to the same title every time you do some edits. So I'm going to showcase how you can save them as presets. So the next time you do your edits, you can save all of your changes to the attributes you make to any of the titles using Apple Motion. So that next time you do some editing, you can just do a simple drag and drop and all of your saved preset edits will always be there. Now, just a quick disclaimer, you will need to download Apple Motion for this. And that is not a free application. So this one costs me 49 pounds. You can download this from the Apple Mac store. So let's dive in. I've got Final Cut Pro open here and I've just added a stock video as an example. So let's say every video that you edit, you want to put some information about your social media. Now I'm going to do this in real time for something that I would like to use as a preset going forward for my videos. So I'm going to do this as a permanent thing whilst I showcase to you guys how to do it. So I've got this set of titles that gives you loads of different social media lower third. Now there's one that's not in here, which is for TikTok. Now I'm just going to grab one that I don't use like this Twitch one, for example. And if I quickly just add that to the timeline to showcase to you guys how that looks, as you can see, it comes out, you can change the text to your social media handle, and then it disappears like that. So let me get rid of it from the timeline. What you would need to do is from the title library, you right click and do open in motion. This is where you'll be able to do one of two things. You can either save and overwrite the existing title as a permanent change, or you can do a save as and duplicate it and save it somewhere else in the title library in Final Cut Pro. So now that I've opened it into Apple Motion, I can make all of my changes and edits to this in here. And that includes the text, the logos, the colors, and the animations. In this tutorial, I won't be showcasing how to use Apple Motion. That's something that you guys will have to learn offline and I won't be covering that in this video. So you will need to have a minimum basic understanding of how Apple Motion works to do this. But I will showcase to you guys anyway, some simple changes. So the first thing I will do is change the username here. So I'm going to match this with some of the previous title effects that I've used. So I'm going to be creating one for my TikTok. So I will put the handle like this. I'll just make some other changes as well. Next, I'm just going to replace that logo with the TikTok logo. So I'll just place that within the circle and I'll add a quick animation just to make it look a little bit nicer. So again, this is something that you would need to learn separately and that won't be as part of this tutorial, but just to showcase to you guys how that works. So let me go ahead and finish off making all of the different edits and changes that I like to for this specific title effect and I'll showcase how to save it. So there you go, that's all my changes. So as you can see, this is the final version. It's very clean and it was pretty straightforward and simple to do. So now I'm ready to save this back into Final Cut Pro. So all I need to do is go into File, Save As, and then I will give it a name. TikTok lower third, and then I can save it in one of the categories or the folder names in Final Cut Pro. 
in the title library. So the one where this one existed as Twitch was based in social media lower third. So I can save it in there or I have the option to save it in any other title library. Let me go ahead and save it back into the original one and then click publish. Once that's done, you can now go back into Final Cut Pro and then underneath social media lower thirds, you should be able to see your latest publication. Let's look for TikTok and there you go, it's right there. So now all I can do from this moment going forward is just do a simple drag and drop and that will be set for me to use every single time, like so. So that's how you can actually make customizations to any custom third-party title animation effects and have those saved changes as kind of like a preset in the Final Cut Pro title library all using Apple Motion. So I would definitely recommend if you've not used Apple Motion before, just go through some basic tutorials on how to change things like text and colors and logos, images, that kind of thing. You can dive in a little bit more deeper around animations, which is a little bit more advanced. But if you want to just make some basic edits, then this is how you can do it. So that's it guys, pretty straightforward. I'm going to now use a lot of my presets that I've saved using Apple Motion in all of my video edits. It's saving me a lot of time. Any questions around this, do drop a comment down below. If you did find this useful, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I'll do Final Cut Pro tutorials from time to time. I also take recommendations. So if there's anything you guys want to see in Final Cut Pro, drop a comment down below and I'll see if I can help you guys out with a future video. Other than that, thanks for watching guys. See you at the next one.